Even in the heart of winter in New England, construction still goes on. And as average temperatures rise with climate change, one, three, or even six degrees above normal can still be pretty nippy, still making it a pretty good idea to keep the heat in and the cold out. Add to that our desire for not only a warm shelter, but also a livable place we call our home. You have the stage set for a company like Ridgeview Construction that focuses on sustainability. Shane Carter runs the operation. I had been trained and mentored by, by folks who were very good at, at building and construction. Um, and I saw that there was a need to, to build things in a more efficient way in terms of energy and, and sustainability. That's really why I started Ridgeview. Um, I have a unique background in the fact that I have degrees in forestry and uh, in environmental sciences. So as a builder, I, I have a little bit of a different outlook and view uh, uh, of the construction and development process that happens. And I wanted to, I wanted to bring uh, that type of environmental sensitivity to the construction process as well. We try to be a little different in terms of how we think about building in general, that it's not just about trying to get the home up as quickly as possible and, uh, and, get it, and get it built and move on to the next one, but we really try and think about the tremendous amount of resources and energy that we're putting out right now to build this and the fact that we want it to last for a long time, for hundreds of years. Uh, so we try and build with a much higher level of quality and. Uh, in consideration to what we're doing than I think has been done in the past. To realize his goals and to offer them to other professionals and ultimately homeowners, Shane has pushed his building techniques. On this job, he's using SIPs, or structural insulated panels. It's a mashing together of urethane foam uh, sandwiched with OSB or plywood on the outside and uh, it's super energy efficient. Where normally you would have studs framing in the walls, we have high R-value insulation instead, so it's, it's pretty unique in that way. Another great thing about this uh, construction technique is that there's no waste. It's all pre-designed and engineered and cut in the factory to maximize uh, efficiency in the process. It, it goes up quicker and uh, it's easier to, to put together, and at the end of the process we're going to have a home that's far more efficient as well, so sort of a win-win all around. It, it's all numbered and we have a, a diagram and uh, specification on how they go together and it's, uh, it's like little building blocks, it's pretty easy. And you can see there's window cutouts, all of the, all of the roof lines are already pre-cut so when it goes together we don't have to uh, cut anything and, and it's very efficient in that way. These wall panels are six and a half inch SIP panels and they have an R value of 38, which is uh, tremendous uh, in and of itself. And then when you think about how that wall assembly is gonna perform, uh, it performs so much better than standard insulation because it's a complete air seal. Every place that wood touches wood, that's an opportunity for air infiltration. So what we wanna do is we wanna seal that and we do that with a gasket so that it completely seals it from, from an air infiltration standpoint. Uh, so in between the plates and the plywood, we apply that gasket and that bead of sealant uh, so that we stop any airflow in those areas. This home is energy modeled to be uh, at least double the efficiency of what a standard home built to Energy Star standards will be. So this is gonna be a really super energy efficient, tight home. So far, it's goes together pretty good too. Yeah, so there's uh, to join the panels together, you have splines that sit in these two top and bottom grooves, and then there's a groove out in the center that we fill with, um, with spray foam to really seal, an energy seal when we put the two together. You can kind of see on the existing one that went up. Uh, now, do you, do you typically come in on the design phase or design discussions? Absolutely, yeah. We, we try to be involved at that stage. I think it's critical to help guide the discussion from a cost standpoint and from a feasibility and logistics standpoint. I think uh, having a builder involved at the architectural design phase is, can be really important. This whole, this whole, no seriously though, all this roof stuff, completely going to change. Okay, alright, cool. He's got it as an R42. We're actually going to put rigid foam on the outside. 
just sitting, you know, going sitting to down, and lacing it, or right. having it yeah, like still. this. So. We did a we did a lot of uh, a lot of work and reclamation on the land itself, and that was really important uh, in terms of the overall setting of, of how the house is placed. We position this house to be true solar orientation. So this is going this has passive solar elements to it. We're planning for the future implementation of uh, solar or wind. It's pretty windy up here. We got we've got great natural resource of wind here. Um, so we are planning for that and, and doing, doing the right integration of systems now at the, at the build phase so that when the clients decide to add that in the future, it's already set up for it and it's sort of plug and play. It's always my dream. I, I think I dream of it almost every night. I can't wait to, to build my own zero energy home. Um, the, the reality is that the homes that we're building now are so low energy. This will be a zero energy home. Um, it won't be at the point of completion, but we're building it so low energy that with, with the, um, the implementation of some solar and some other alternative energy means, they'll be able to offset the energy use that they have in the home. We all benefit in many ways because we're, we're decreasing the, the amount of energy that's used in this home for its lifespan, the lifespan of the home. I think. People usually stay in a home for an uh, average of six or seven years or something, but, but we're trying to design homes that are going to be around for hundreds and hundreds of years. And, uh, and when we design a very low energy use home or a net zero home, we're really, everyone benefits then. Um, now that's, that to me is the epitome of sustainable when, when a home is producing as much energy as it's using and, uh, and, and, and it's durable such that it doesn't need to be using and reusing resources.